wrap-up show, and I guess people were coming down on Sal because I was I was really put off that he had sniffed Mutt's daughter's panties. That was horrible. Yeah, I, you I know, forgot about that. And I, uh, you know, I, I just didn't get it. I went upstairs. I watched some porn to pass the time. She got out of the shower. I went in to take a shower next, and the panties were unfolded right in front of my uh... face. So, <laughs> who is it? Can I tell you? You don't, you don't, this is, this is, you don't think it was to inviting. lock the door? If, if, I'm, I'm already going to accept your wacky idea that, that this is right to do. It doesn't dawn on you to lock the door? Dude, I walked, she walked out of the shower and left the panties on the floor. Right, and then you have a thought in your head to, to sniff them. At least turn around and shut the door. Well, at this point, the panties look so nice and they had a little <laughs> interesting stain on them. I call Rich. I go, dude, what do you think? And Rich is like, whatever. And I sniffed them. And that was it. Sal posted an apology to Mud on Stern Fan Network. So. We're, we're working on uh, the chronology of Sal's explanations yeah. from, from this show to the wrap-up show and how... It, you know, at first, it's almost like he did nothing wrong, and by the end, he's so apologetic. <laughs> All right, this is Sal Governale. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking to Mutt, or is Mutt mad at you? I, I call Mutt several times. I oh, feel... Oh, is it, what, what's going, what is this new voice you That's have? That's the apology That's voice. The, uh, oh. I'm no, whatever it is. my life voice. Oh. I, it's a voice. I have to say something. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry if, I, if, it, if there's a different tone. This is the kid. voice when the client lost $20,000 <laughs> on an investment. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> what I did... It went belly up. I, I, uh, I put an innocent uh, person in a bad <laughs> position by right. being a jerk. I agree. And I apologize dearly to her. She's and She didn't deserve this. And... Um, it's just wrong. All right, I feel good. really bad. All right. She, she's um, almost in tears. My problem is that I I goof around a lot, and I always, I always put the goof first, not myself. And it comes back to haunt me, and I deserve it. I do. And uh, I'm not I'm not a pedophile. I'm not I'm not a uh, I'm not a, a pervert to that extent. It was a goof, and she is attractive. There's no denying it. I put that all together, but. The fact of the matter is, is that whatever I do and whatever I say, I always try to make it interesting or, um, you know, for the show. And sometimes I don't think how much it's going to hurt me and the people that I love and uh, the people who respect and admire what I do. And I feel so terrible about this girl because... She doesn't deserve this. And all I did was put my uh, my stupidity forward, and, and I had to be a goofball again. And I always think about the show and how how it'll come across, and I don't think about the um, consequences. And uh, I'm glad that yesterday, after listening to what happened with, uh, with the wrap-up show and everything, that uh, it was a wake-up call for me, and that I really need to establish where the line is, because. Um, Innocent people shouldn't be involved in my stupidity. And I, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I just feel terrible. And uh, it just, because of, because of, again, you know, without saying we've done it, because of my stupidity and my actions and the fact that everything I want to do is for the good of the show. And I always try to be a goofball. And I was prancing around with that girl's underwear up in front of Richard Christie, and we were laughing about it. I never thought it would parlay into something where somebody was going to be embarrassed and, and somebody's daughter would be embarrassed. That wasn't my intent. My intent was just to make it, it was a goof. And if it wasn't a goof, and if I was really serious and really perverted and I was really in a closed room, I wouldn't be talking about this. It was just a joke that really hurts me personally because I hurt somebody else. Mm -hmm. And that's what I didn't want to happen. And I'm sorry, and I'm sorry to everybody, I'm sorry to the listeners, and I'm sorry to you, Howard. I don't want to lose your respect. You, you've done so much. You never so much. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to lose. You've done so much for me. You've always given me so many chances. The fans have given me so many chances. And everybody said, well, the beauty of Sal is that he doesn't know where the line is, but I don't want that line if I'm going to hurt people. All right, that's fair enough. Wow! That's the best thing I think he's ever <laughs> said. Artie, right, do you think he should go wash his pussy? Just <laughs> <laughs> squirt it with a hose. I admire what you just said. Yes, yeah, yeah, Sal. Well, but, uh, the a, best thing but, is his makeup doesn't run when he's crying. <laughs> yeah, you've got great makeup. <laughs> Sal, there's a bigger issue here, though. Yeah, I, I know what you're going to say. Who respects and admires what you do? You, you <laughs> I don't know. Who are you talking about? 
talking about? <laughs> no, nobody, I guess. I don't know. Oh, uh, Sal, we're trying to know. I know, I know. Hold on. Sit, sit down. Don't, where are you going? He's, He's getting, getting a tissue. tissue. Oh. Give, give the man a tissue. I His makeup's running. His <laughs> Sephora makeup is running. Uh, Artie, you were saying. No, I'm just saying, if if clearly you have, you know, <laughs> sexual issues, uh, it, you know, I think you take things further with, you know, being turned on sexually than, than most people. And if what you said yesterday on the wrap-up show is true, I think that might have something to do with it, and you really should talk to somebody about it. Um, like, well, I, I had a long term. Really, the two of you can go into therapy together. Which one of you will make the call? When I, when I was listening to the wrap-up show and Artie's telling Sal you need to go into therapy, <laughs> I was I almost shit in my pants. And Elizabeth look, pointed that out, by the way. Look, yeah, my, I listen, I, I, I'm as fucked up as a person can get. Oh, but, so you don't have to go. No, no, no. I should go for other reasons. Yeah. You don't need I'm it. I'm just saying, Sal, before, before you do Artie's something. Artie's on cocaine and <laughs> drinking. Please, well, not cocaine, but pouring the entire Wait, listen pharmacy into I was not expl I was not trying to say I'm normal. <laughs> Are you telling someone to go to therapy? Is insane. He's been on psychoactive drugs. <laughs> Am I wrong? He doesn't think he needs You're to go You're not wrong, anywhere. but it's just you should probably be on his lap. It, it's the funniest thing that you, it's the funniest thing that you showed up at Casey's gambling intervention. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I, by the way, I was very helpful. <laughs> but no, you know, Sal mm. is a friend of mine, and I think, you know, this sexual thing, it might cross a line to where, dude, there might be some sort of court situation going on, and before that happens, you better address the mean, problem. Yeah. No, oh, you mean Sal he could get himself into trouble? Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, if... if if Mutt was a different guy and called the cops, I mean, who knows? Maybe there's something... A crime no, I, there. I mean, he came to me... Sal came to me yesterday. He was... Pretty upset. He said, "Listen, I know. I, I don't want to. Genuine. He goes, I don't want to be that guy. Everybody mm -hmm. thinks I'm that guy now." And he goes, and then he worried that you know that you know what if they're going to press charges? I'm like, "Listen, what no, you did was stupid. I, there's I, no, I, there's I, no I crime. It's not a crime. It, it isn't. It isn't. But I'm it saying isn't a crime. I feel Sal. Sal wants to be outrageous. Yeah. Right. So I don't even feel when he sniffs panties, he's sitting there even sexually. I mean, maybe he is. Getting See, I disagree. Right. I disagree. I disagree. I think with that. he thinks it's a funny. I, I think no. that. I think you're exactly right. I think yeah. I you think have I, a well, Fusion because you think there could be a separation. Right. Sal <clears throat> and probably has that proclivity, but he was goofing with Richard with Mutt's daughter. I think daughter. if it was if, right. if, if it was if it was Mutt's grandma, he'd be smelling those. Panties. But I'm just saying he was laugh. wrong to do something like that in a guy's house who's doing him a favor. Yeah, that's what right. I got to. Right, you're absolutely right. Like, and I, I, mean, um, I always think you're normal, and then all of a sudden I hear you doing that. No, he's not normal. You know, right. but uh, you know, whatever. I, you know, <clears> Joey <throat> Boots, you're on the air in Belmore. Hey, how are you, brother? Hey, man. hey, I was I was there when, when Sal did this, and uh, he's telling the truth right now. He he was definitely like seeking some sort of approval for what he did, you know, like laughing and everything. It wasn't like anything malicious, like you know, uh, you know, talking crap about it. He was just definitely goofing around. And yeah, but, yeah. And, um, and that day, Joey, <clears throat> didn't we tea big Richard and take pictures? Yeah, yeah. It was that. It, we would. It was like a frat party. That but makes it right. I made but a mistake. You know, so it's like a seventeen-year-old. You're involving a seventeen-year-old. Right. You want to do something to Richard? That's fine. Yeah, you want to do fine. something to Joey Boots? That's great. You're right. talking about a seventeen-year-old girl. See, and I, I'm humiliated. I still. And, and right. I, did, I did tell him. I'm like, dude, she's only like sixteen years old. I'm like, right. dude, you can't be doing that. Where right. is Mutt? I never even spoke to. Did you speak to Mutt? Yeah, he called it he yesterday. Oh, he did. Oh, good. Oh, he right. called the wrap-up show. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, you know, I, I just uh, express my outrage because I don't. Well, you know, I, I mean, I've got kids. I've got daughters. <clears throat> right. And, uh, you know. And when you invite someone into your home, you're you gotta, you gotta letting really... down your guard That's and saying, right. hey, I'm accepting you into my inner sanctum. Yeah, right. You guy, don't violate that. And this guy, Mutt, uh, genuinely, I, I just started to get to know Mutt. I don't really know him on a personal level, but he's working for us. I'm very, very impressed with him. I think he's a very nice guy. He's a super fan and uh, super loyal to us. And uh, it sounds like he's uh, very friendly to Sal by allowing him in his home. So I just say when somebody gives you that kind of access, you got to respect it. That's yeah, all. And, right. that, and that's it. And I'm sure you could, you and Mutt can move on from there. But, uh, you know, you got to just build. Yeah, move, Mutt's moving out of the house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm saying, you know, <laughs> you, I don't know if you'd ever get the guy's trust again. You know, I was trying to put it in perspective. Like, I just had Jackson the intern over. If, two if, if for some reason my 16-year-old niece was over that day, and two months from now, Jackson comes to me and says, Remember that time you let me stay over your house and did me a favor? I sniffed your niece's oh, bloody right. panties. Oh. Like, it's the exact same scenario. Yeah. It's the exact. I mean, I would fucking flip.
Yeah. Which we tried to. Bottom line, you got to stop sniffing underpants. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're right. I mean, well, you say it looks like it's easy to kick. The thing is, <laughs> seems but, to me like it'd be easy. But I'm Artie, we can't do a day habit. <laughs> the thing is, um, stick over that he felt that it would be okay. To right. Him. Right. He was. He's. He wants if, to be the wild. If man. I said to Mutt, I took your uh, daughter's panties in the bathroom and closed the door and and spent some time with myself, that would be. I mean, it's wrong. Obviously, that's the worst thing you could do. Um. What I did, that doesn't make it right what I did, but I went into, like like Joey said, like a shtick type of thing. Like I right. made you a... Were trying to imba you were trying to... Uh, one uh, up. One yeah, up. I was being an asshole right. by yeah. being a goofball. Right, and you weren't thinking. It wasn't, it wasn't sniffing the panties in a private sexual manner. It was... You trying to be right, the outrageous I, guy. I, I get right, it, but, but, I get but it, it's but still sound, wrong. But it's still wrong. I think you're but, in denial about the fact that you're clearly no, way, I am. Turn, way turned on by this girl. Every, okay. Even and the in your second, apologies, you always... Yeah, he, it's almost and the second you problem... You you to her. Her. Right. And the second issue wrong. is, it doesn't help me that the girl physically... You know, by the grace of God, is an attractive girl. Doesn't help and, you. And I dr <laughs> no, 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 no. See, Artie hit it on the head. Never said when when right. Sal talks about her, it is almost like the way a pedophile talks about a kid. Right. That's that, like, she's you know, she's a young beauty. I love her. By I the grace so of God. Her, yeah. Okay, it's creepy. Okay, but the, but the point that I'm trying to make is that taking away the, what happened with the panties. If you just look at her for what she is, she's just a beautiful girl. That's yeah, right. it. Okay, Sal. So, and, see, that's why I think but, there was something. Problem. No, but yes, I'm there not was some sexual fun. going on there. I, I, I think you're in denial or just flat out lying. No, to because us. like Howard said, if it was Mutt's underwear, I probably would have done the same yeah, thing. He, I know him. He, I, Do you I know don't him? know him. I, yeah, okay, you know, I get that, again, but it's but, what you think of doing. Right, it, but it wasn't Mutt's underwear. It was this girl's. Right, underwear. and that's and where you I'm keep wrong. Going on about how gorgeous she was, and you want to see more of her. She's no, yes. Yes. no, yeah. Right, I mean, right. I think Robin's right. There. I mean, it's almost like you're trying to get on her good side. And no, I'm not. I mean, I, her, her look should have no bearing on why you. What did I did this. was but complete... it keeps coming up. Her looks keep coming up. I'm saying that it makes me look twice as bad. Because... We don't know what she looked like. We only yeah. know your story. You're the one that's providing right. all the information about her. Uh, if, I'm the... mutt, if I'm mutt right now, I'm going, dude, don't say she's hot anymore. Stop right. it. You're right. I'm not trying to say. I'm out. saying she just. I, I'm not trying to say it that way. I don't know how to express myself. <laughs> Okay, then I won't say anything. What does evil Dave Letterman say? What is his slogan? <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> put, uh, brain in gear and foot in, take foot out of mouth? No, that... insert foot something. Uh, I should put my brain in gear before opening mouth. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> right it. How many right. times did Cromwell bury that into his head? <laughs> I it was called putting brain in gear before I opening your mouth. Right, there it is. There he is, Evil Dave. Thank you, Evil. <laughs> so maybe we'll go to therapy together. I, cause I, yeah, I, you two should hold hands. I hate to say it. I mean, you're very involved with your cock and balls. You know right, what I mean? But like, also, it's the, you know, the, the liking to spit on girls. It, and the, yeah. the hatred you know, the of women. The I don't have any hatred for women. No, here's the thing where I get freaked out. And I'll tell you what. Like, all those Sibian right things. Like, Sal licking them and everything. Uh, all right, we're doing it for the camera. I about that. But I... I I've seen Sal pull people to the side and say, can you get me that? Or one of the things where a camera isn't involved, where you just like having those things. Are you referring to the piece of rubber on the Sibian yes. that Sal likes to save when a girl rides it? Yeah, right. he made himself in charge of cleaning those. <laughs> and literally, it. he licks them. But, but you sometimes don't, you, you yeah, don't what, like what to do that. that? For the, you don't always do that for the camera. He, he That's where you freak me out. It for individuals, too. He goes to like that shtick coma, but with people by themselves, it doesn't have to be a camera. Like he did it for me. Right. To shock me, you know? Yeah. Right. And the booths and your obsession with the booths. Oh, my God. Stuff. That jerk uh, jack house you saw, talked about. Yeah. That was I, uh... weird. Your tea bag and Richard, and, you know, it's like. Put it away, man. I mean, <laughs> can I ask Al a question? So, what were the repercussions yesterday after the show? Clearly, there's some, somebody happened, got a hold yeah. of you, or you had like, did, was there trouble at home? Was your wife mad? <laughs> <clears throat> I wasn't crying like a little bitch for nothing. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pedo. Is as bad as can. He knows he's the best.